This is SEO Fox. This is a brand new custom GPT made within ChatGPT. It's completely free. It's an expert in creating SEO optimized, engaging and original full length articles. And we're gonna walk through it. So in this video, we're gonna go through an example. We're gonna show how it works, how it can help you in your writing and in your business. And then at the end, for those curious about how it's made, I'm gonna show you the back end. So I'm gonna show you the prompt that I used, it's step-by-step -step workflow, all that stuff. So, all right, let's get going. So first, you gotta start with a keyword. And let's say my keyword today is, let's go work productivity. All right, send this in. So it goes, great. The keyword we'll focus on is work productivity. So first, it's gonna start by generating some inventive titles based on this keyword. It's gonna give you five options. Now it's our job to choose the best title for the article. So let's look through these quickly. Maximizing your day, innovative strategies for enhancing work productivity, that's okay. Ooh, the productivity playbook, proven techniques for smarter work. That is a clickable title, I like that one a lot. Unlocking efficiency, revolutionizing your workflow. The art of doing more. Okay, for me it's between two and five. I'm gonna choose number two. So I'm gonna go, I like number two. So after you've chosen a title, SEO Fox is gonna write a five point outline for the article. So here's its proposed outline. And we got like understanding productivity more than just hard work. That'll be the first section. And it's gonna explore the true meaning of productivity in a work context. The role of technology in enhancing productivity. That's gonna be subsection number two. It's gonna talk about modern tools and software. I like that. Subsection three, time management techniques for maximum efficiency. It's gonna provide strategies for effective time allocation and prioritization. You know, creating a productive work environment, the importance of work-life balance and sustaining productivity. So if I didn't like any of these outlines, let's say I didn't like 0 0.5, I didn't wanna go into work-life balance, I could be like, please change point number five. All right, boom, it gave me a new one. Talking about mindfulness, you know, I like that a lot better. I'm a big fan of mindfulness. I wanted to add that into my article. And now we have that in this SEO outline. So perfect. It's asking me if I like the outline. I'm gonna say yes, I like the outline. Move on to the next step. Okay, the next step in the process is creating the introduction. So it's gonna look at that title. And again, we got the productivity playbook, proven techniques for smarter work. And it's gonna write us a nice introduction to get this article going. Okay, I'm not gonna read through this. This video is gonna be too long if I just read everything it puts out. But I do wanna talk about this part at the bottom. Initially, I had SEO Fox write your entire article. And then I try to get it to combine everything it wrote throughout the chat and paste it into one neat article. But that didn't work. It wouldn't take all of your text. Then I tried to zip it all into a file and then give you it to download. But again, all the text that it put in the document within the zip file. And let me actually show you guys an example. This is an example I ran with the keto diet. And I got to write the introduction, write text under each outline point but it did not take all of the content. And I think OpenAI is capping the output. It seemed to lift the restrictions on the input, and we tested this in another video. You could do like 15,000 tokens in an input, but then its output would only be 500 tokens. So I'm thinking to save on costs, they've really capped that. So unfortunately, I'm gonna close this down. The only option is we have to copy and paste into our final draft while this article is being created. It's not ideal as it is. I'm gonna be looking for updates in the future to change this, but this is how it needs to be done. I guess it's not completely terrible. Okay, so it's telling me to please copy this section if I'm happy with it. Let's say I read this, I liked it, and paste into my draft document. So I could do this in Google Docs. I could do this directly on my website. Let's say it was on Webflow or WordPress. I can paste this section directly right into it while I'm working, but I'm gonna go to medium.com and let's say I was writing an article on Medium. Medium loves productivity articles, always very popular on here. So I'm gonna go to the top, click write, and let's take that title again, paste that in, and we're gonna start pasting in all this text. So it's the introduction, copy. All right, now we're ready to move on to the next step. So we'll go, perfect. Let's move forward. SEO Fox is walking you through the creation of a long article. Your final article is gonna be 2,000 to 2,500 words, 
And you'll notice that if you just try to do it directly from the start in ChatGPT, it would never write a full 2,500 word article. It only write maybe 500 to 750 words. So SEO Fox helps you craft large optimized articles that are evergreen content. And these are the articles that rank well in Google search. Okay, so the first section's done. And remember our first outline point was understanding productivity more than just hard work. And if I scroll up, you can see this was it right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this, go to my Medium article, I'm gonna paste it in, I'm gonna highlight it, and I'm gonna turn this into a subheading. And it's that first big T right there. And we'll start pasting this text in and formatting as we go. I'm gonna take it like this and make this a smaller subheading, a sub subheading, paste in this text. Okay, the first content piece in the full article has been pasted in. It's under the subheading, understanding productivity more than just hard work. And if we like that, we've copied it into our draft document and now we're ready for the next section. And we're gonna do that five times for all five outline points. So the next outline point is the role of technology in enhancing productivity. And this segment's also gonna be approximately 500 words. The custom GPT has been programmed to write about this length on every subsection. And let's do the same thing that we did as the last one. Now pasting this in, depending on the format, you don't have to take these smaller subheadings. I could just paste all this text in and make the article a bit cleaner so it doesn't look like it's the exact same format in every subsection. The article flows well just like this without these extra little titles. So I'd probably bounce back and forth between writing these out and not taking them. And then I'll just take all this stuff here. All right, we like this. We've copied this into our draft document. Let's move on. And I'm just going to do this for the other three points and then I'll get back to you when this is all done. Okay, we finished the entire outline. This is each subsection of our full SEO article. There it is, scrolling all the way down. Now we have one more step. So once this is done, we're gonna to go to writing the conclusion of the entire article. So I'm gonna go next step. And the concluding section of the article will wrap up all the key points and it will provide a final takeaway for the reader. So I'm gonna take this, let's say I like it, copy it in, and let's add a line break here, just so people know that this is the conclusion, this is separate from the full article. And there we go. Okay, a few more steps that SEO Fox is designed to do. The next is to create a cover photo for your article. See, this is pretty bland here. And I actually thought of an idea, and we're gonna do this live afterwards. I think it'd be a good idea to create an image for each individual section. I think it breaks up the article nicely and images work well for engagement. So we'll add that to the prompt later. We're gonna do that live. But right now SEO Fox is only designed to create the first header image. So we're gonna let it do its thing. I'm just gonna go yes, please do. And SEO Fox is gonna create an image. It's gonna use Dolly 3. And let's see what it comes up with. Okay, this is the image. You know, it makes sense. It's an image of a home office. A lot of charts and graphs, a big poster on the wall, very clean, looks very productive. I get what it's going for. So we're gonna download this image. We're gonna go over to Medium and we're gonna paste it into our article. And there we go. Okay, the next step, it's gonna craft the metadata for the article and also for the image. This ensures that it's optimized for search engine indexing. So we know the title of the article, that's gonna stay the same. And I'm gonna go into this article settings it's gonna be different if you're using WordPress, Webflow, whatever your website is. But for Medium, it's in the settings. I'm gonna scroll down. You know, I like the title here. Maybe we don't need the Medium. I'm just gonna go with this, save. And SEO description, I'm gonna take this here and paste this in. It also gives you a list of keywords in case your website asks for those. And then we have the image alt text. So I'm gonna hover over the image, click it. Let's go to alt text and let's paste that in. There's also an option to caption the image. I'm gonna use the image description right there. All right, so there we go, that's our full article. You got the cover image, all text, meta description, your subheadings, your subsections, writes your outline, and it walks you through a very long article creation process, makes it super easy. You did this in less than five minutes. Now we have an SEO optimized article around the keyword work productivity that will hopefully be indexed on Google and we can get traffic to our website. Okay, let's see how the SEO Fox custom GPT was made. All right, this is the back end. It's a published and public GPT. First off, we have that simple description. It's an expert in creating SEO optimized, engaging, and original full-length articles 
variables and please start with a keyword. And the custom prompt is, let's make this bigger. You know, it starts by saying, you are an AI designed to write SEO optimized content. Your expertise lies in creating engaging original articles based on user provided keyword or key phrases. And then I have it outlined in a bunch of steps. And these steps walk you through the article creation process. So step one is the keyword acquisition. You start by obtaining a keyword or key phrase from the user. And I have it to persistently request a keyword if it's not provided initially. So I'm going to close this. That's why I have it in the description to prompt the user to start with a keyword. I think that's the best way to get SEO Fox started is by user just writing a keyword. And in our example, we did work productivity, but you could do like keto diet, AI assistant, any keyword or key phrase that you're looking at, you'd start with that. Then we have title generation. It creates five inventive titles based on that keyword and then ask the user to request a title. Then step three is that outline development. It drafts a five point outline for the article. Again, ask the user to confirm before moving on. Step four, writes the introduction. And it's a key part of the process that I ask the user to confirm before moving on to the next step. You know, we're holding the hand of the writer through this entire process. And the AI makes sure that you like the content before moving on. Okay, step five, it writes out the content for the first point, and I have it writing 500 word segments at a time. I find if you tell it to just write a 2,500 word article, the AI will never do so. So you have to kind of break it up into chunks. Then step six is it does that for each of the other four outline points. And again, we tell it to copy and paste into the draft document because it can't combine all the text at the end. It has to be pasted throughout this process. Step seven is we write the conclusion. Step eight, it's gonna design the cover image and I make it a 16 by nine aspect ratio, that's landscape. Then step nine, it's gonna craft the metadata. Step 10 is the final review and publishing. It encourages the user to review the completed article and then publish it on their website. And then once that's done, you got a restart option. It offers the user to start the process anew with a different keyword. Now we're gonna add a few things into this because as we went through, we found out that this custom GPT might be better if it did a few things. So first, I wanna go into step eight and I added after creating the image, present it to the user for confirmation and then only proceed to the next step after receiving their approval for the image. I found that it just draw the image out and then write the metadata. And then if you didn't like the initial image, you kind of had to know to tell it to change it. I want to be able to tell the user that this is an option. I also want to add that this image should have no text in it because Dolly 3, even though it's good at text, it doesn't always get the spelling right. You'll have weird spelling words. So I'm adding do not use any text in the image. We also talked about adding an image after each section. So we're going to go into step looks like step five and step six. And let's change it so that both of these steps have an image that's going to be created. So here I've changed both of these steps. I've added zoom in here after writing design a relevant image to accompany this section present both the text and the image to the user for confirmation and then offer rewrites or image redesigns if necessary. And then step six is just saying, when you repeat this process for all the sequential content, also draw an image. All right, I'm gonna close this, give it one more look through and update it, confirm, save it to public. Let's hit view GPT. There we go, that's our brand new SEO Fox. It's updated. I have a few more ideas to make this better in the future. I'm gonna be adjusting the prompt and I'm thinking some keyword research guidance. So if the user doesn't have a keyword at the start, it walks them through how to get a good quality keyword. I like a readability check. You know, let's see if the article reads for a certain type of reading level that it works for more general audience or more professional audience, whatever you're going for. Social media snippets is a good idea. So when people share their article on social media, like on Twitter, X, Instagram, maybe some image with text there, and then maybe some performance tracking advice. So it tells them how to track performance for your article. All right, I hope you enjoyed. If you wanna use SEO Fox, there's gonna be a link in the description below. It's completely free custom GPT. Use it to your heart's desire. It's within chat GPT. And hopefully it helps your article creation process and gets traffic to your website.